Revelation 5 Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides, and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb, looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne, and when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. Hey guys, so what you just saw is an example of the video Bible. Now what we'd like to do is we'd like to illustrate the whole Bible just like that, cover to cover, from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Now, as crazy as it sounds, that's never been done before. The Bible's never been illustrated from Genesis all the way to Revelation. And what we would like to do is we'd like to do it for you and your family. So imagine being able to wake up in the morning and just press and play, be able to work your way through the Bible by yourself with your wife and kids or grandkids by just pushing play. And you can do that through the whole Bible. Now we need to do this for you and for your family and for my family, but we also need to do it for the rest of the population because statistics tell us that a third of the population has no access to the written Bible. That's 35 million people with dyslexia, 75 million people who cannot read the Word of God. So how can they learn to grow? Now, we're a crowdfunded ministry, which means we have monthly partners and everyone gives a little bit. And so we cannot do this without you. We've got videographers and artists and pastors and theologians. So we can do this all on our side, but without the ability to pay these people, and meet these costs, we just can't do it. So while I've been speaking, if God has moved on your heart and you feel like this is something you would like to be a part of, please join us this, on this journey because we can't do it without you. We'd love to have you along in this journey. Go to videobible.com, you can learn more and you can click the donate button there or fund the next verse and become a monthly partner and help us to achieve this goal in this power of the Spirit. Thank you.